everyone, today we are talking about duplicate management in Salesforce. Now Salesforce finds and handles duplicates by using a combination of matching rules and duplicate rules. It's important that we understand both of these because they are the bread and butter of handling duplicates in Salesforce. Duplicate rules and duplicate jobs will specify the matching rules that determine how duplicates are identified. Duplicate sets and reports will list the duplicates that are found. Now, when we think about duplicate rules, they're only available on accounts, contacts, leads, individuals, and custom objects. They are not available for opportunities. The duplicate rule is going to decide whether records are blocked or allowed. And matching rules will define what a match means. Multiple fields can be used in a matching rule. So you can have a match based on first name, last name, email, and phone number, for example. And multiple duplicate rules can be active at once. So when we're thinking about duplicate rules, we're thinking about the matching rule and then the duplicate rule itself. The matching rule defines what the match means and the duplicate rule defines what we do once we have found that match. Together, this is how Salesforce actually handles duplicates in the system.